next. What is the purpose of training free sparring with Fukuroshinai? After watching me spar with Tsukara-san, Sei gave me some strict but important advice. And welcome to Latsas Six and Say. I love to be the host Shogo from Latsas Shogo, and this is Six and Say. Yes,お願いいたします。ということで、私も持たせていただいているんですけれども、こちら、袋じゃない。肩だけではなくて、実際にこう打ち合うような経験はされないんですかっていうコメント、メッセージもたくさんいただいていたんですけれども、1年流
Sixensei said that Skelasan has a very gentle personality and doesn't prefer to spar aggressively, but rather tries to actually use real techniques of Arduha's style, which is exactly the point of this training method. The next match will be Skelasan versus Mei. Honestly, I hardly have any experience with competitive martial arts, and although I've been training Iai Genjutsu for 9 years, I look very pathetic in the following clips. But I promise everyone watching this video I will keep improving so we can look at this video and see how much I progress in the future. I also want our online lesson members and anyone who will be joining in the future to know that it's okay not to be perfect from the beginning. Kuroshinai's sparring and kendo are completely different. Although the weapons may seem similar, kendo has strict rules on where and how you can attack the opponent. However, for this free spar training, there's no winning or losing, and no restrictions on how and where you attack the opponent. Of course, you shouldn't hit the crotch or stab the eyes, but for example, you can attack the legs, which wouldn't be considered a point in kendo. <laughs> After watching me spar with Skara-san, Sixensei gave me some strict but important advice. Sixensei taught me that an old teaching says, learn your weak when you can attack at your chance. If you're not always in full control of yourself, you won't always be ready to attack when the time comes. As Sixensei says, wearing or not wearing protective gear to spar is very different. Even experienced kendo practitioners become scared and unable to move as usual in this training method. The final match will be Sixensei versus me. I tried my best to focus on the points Sixensei taught me earlier. Finally, I want to answer the question, why not wear protective gear and use a steel katana? First, as we discussed earlier, we don't wear protective gear to train our guts. If you put on protective gear, it wouldn't hurt at all, and you won't be able to experience the kind of tension of a real battle. Next, we don't do it with steel katana because it is a historical and cultural taboo. Samurai in the Edo period always had a katana on their waist to show their readiness to fight for Bushido with their lives. When they really used their katana, it was time to lay down their own lives, and on the contrary, those who would easily resort to violence were despised. In other words, when two samurai drew their real katana against each other, it was when one of them would die for justice for the other. However, this is just my opinion, so if you have any other opinions, please let me know in the comments. <laughs>
as you may have noticed, I learned various stances of this duha, but in the last two matches, I couldn't put them into practice at all. Six and Say taught me that my arms were way too tense. Our Nuha teaches us that it is just right to be lazy and not strain ourselves too much. However, it takes a lot of experience to be as relaxed as Six and Say when actually facing an opponent. I would definitely like to challenge this again. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I was in Osaka at the time. I was in the same 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 time. 本当ですかそ,うそ,うそ,うああそれはよかったです、うん、少しでも進展があったのであれば。Six and Say told me that my face looked completely different in the second match I did. I was glad to know that it was improving little by little. So, everyone, if you learned anything new about the practice that we do with the Fukushima in our dojo, please let us know in the comments. And our goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, 2023. Be great if you can help us out by sharing this video with your friends and family. Everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. Want to learn EI and Kinjutsu skills from Kodo Master Siki Nobita Sensei? Our online lessons have perfect English interpretation and are accessible to anyone worldwide. We will even be providing Don ranks depending on your progress. Check the description box or pinned comment to join now.